On the afternoon of Thursday, September 30, an Air Algerie ATR-72 was operating Flight 6133 from Bashar to Algiers. At about 16.30 local time, the aircraft touched down on runway 09, but veered to the right and off the runway. It came to a stop with the nose gear on the grass next to the paved surface, almost perpendicular to the runway. There were no reported injuries and the passengers disembarked through the aft main door onto the runway and were transported back to the terminal. As the airport's other runway was closed due to work in progress, the airport was closed for about two hours as a result of the incident. On the afternoon of Tuesday, September 28, a United Airlines Boeing 767-400 took off from Honolulu, Hawaii, bound for Newark, New Jersey. Shortly after departure, the crew alerts air traffic control that they have an issue with their fuel system, requiring them to enter a hold and dump fuel. There's a full-length video detailing this incident currently en route. Patreon subscribers can watch it early, so join us there, or subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the in-depth look. On Friday, October 1, a Pobeda Boeing 737-800 was scheduled to operate Flight 520 from Astrakhan to St. Petersburg. The aircraft had been retrofitted with split scimitar winglets. The retrofit, offered by aviation partners Boeing, can reduce drag by up to 2% and can be applied to any 737-800 or 737-900ER with blended winglets. Unfortunately for this aircraft, the winglet's ventral strike increased drag significantly when it struck a fuel tanker during its taxi to the runway. The passengers were deplaned and the aircraft towed for maintenance checks. Around midday on Wednesday, September 29, a United Airlines Boeing 787-10 was operating Flight 85 from Tel Aviv to Newark. Shortly after the aircraft levelled off at their initial cruise altitude of flight level 320, the crew reported a problem with the flaps and requested a return to Tel Aviv. After holding and burning off fuel for about 30 minutes, the crew returned to Tel Aviv and landed on runway 12 after about 70 minutes in the air. The following day, the airline planned to operate a ferry flight, United Flight 2843, to Newark using the aircraft. However, that flight was cancelled. On October 1, the aircraft was ferried as Flight 2846 to Newark with no reported issues. <laughs>